Okay, now, again, more problems, but again, it's not just busy work because the game's changed. A new snowmobile costs 5,000%. The value of the snowmobile decreases at a constant percent each year, but I don't know what that percent is. After three years, the snowmobile is worth $3,061. Calculate the depreciation rate. So you're finding the percent. You're like, whoa, that's impossible. No, it's not. Okay. Dollars and years. X is years. Y is dollars. Dollars per year. There is no dollars per year. There's a percent per year, but I don't know what it is. So what you need to do is write P percent, and it's decreasing, so it's down. So just like I had normally done, I just put a P. All right, so it's a curve. It's still times G to the power of X equals Y. Okay, how much did our snowmobile cost at the beginning? It cost 5000 Okay, now your growth factor. Now, of course, normally you take 100%, but here's a problem. I don't know what that is, okay? So here's how you write your growth factor. You write 1 minus P in parentheses, okay? So parentheses, 1 minus P, okay? So here's what we do. We take 5,000 times 1 minus P to the power of X equals Y. Now you're like, well, how am I supposed to solve that? There's three variables. Your P is what you don't know. You can replace the X with the years, which we have three for. Now you know how much money went with those three years with the 3,061, so out of here. Okay? Now, I'm not going to use log over log because the P is not a power, okay? But the P is in a parentheses to the third power, so I would do very nicely to use my Q, okay? So I've got 5,000 Q, because just don't write the dot, just put Q, and then it's going to be to the third power equals 3,061. Okay, now solve for Q. First you need to divide by your 5,000. So Q to the third power equals whatever that quotient is. Round to the nearest hundredth, I would. So zero point. Add. If it's only that short, just go like that. Now with the third power, we do a cubed root. Now don't worry about the plus or minus on these because they're story problems. Okay, so to find the cubed root, we take 0 0.6122 and raise it to the one-third power because it's a not a third, it's a cubed root. A, B, C, 3. Okay. 0 0.85 now. A lot of people just put that and say it's 85%. But you need to bring back your 1 minus P because that's what the Q was originally equal to. So 1 minus P equals 0 0.85. Now you need to put a 1 in front of your P because that's going to help. So you minus 1, minus 1. So negative 1 P, 0 0.85 minus 1, it's negative 0 0.15. I'm just showing you how to punch it in. Now divide by negative 1, and P is 0 0.15, which is 15%. Okay. All right, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do actually three. You only have one to do in this on your own. I put $14,000 in a bank account. The bank increases by a constant percent each year. In 10 years, the account is worth $23,011. Find the interest rate on the deposit. Okay, so interest rate, it's your job to find the percent. So years and money. The dollars per year. I don't know the dollars per year. Okay, I have no idea what that is. So, 
It's a percent, though. goes in, up by a constant percent. Okay, so P percent going up. X comma Y times the growth factor to the X power, and then Y. Okay, so we have $14,000 at the beginning. Okay, G, you got to take 100%, but if there's not a percent over there, I'm going to put plus P, so I'm going to put 1 plus P. Okay, by the way, 100% needs to change to 1 when you put it over here, so 1 plus P. Okay, so now in parentheses, you need to parenthesize that expression, okay? So I have 14,000 times the expression 1 plus P to the X power equals Y. Now again, P is what we don't know because I, I have 10 years, so I can use 10 for that. And I've got $23,011, okay? Now you got to clear your head a second. You got to, before you just start writing, you need to come up with a plan. Now is P a power? No, the power is 10, so we're not using log over log. The P is in a parentheses, I need to use Q. Okay, so Q would have a multiplier of 14,000. It would also have a power of 10 equals 23,011. So I need to first divide out the 14,000. So 23,011 divided by 14,000. 1.64, and then I find the tenth root. Okay. By the way, I'm actually going to teach you how to find the tenth root on the. You have to have one like this, though. Okay. I know technically you should put a plus minus, but not on a story problem. It's a waste of time. Now, do you see? Remember how this is our square root. Here's what you can do to find the tenth root of a number, or any root of a number. You can punch in 10, hit second, and then this, the caret, the exponent key. And that's going to tell your calculator you want the tenth root of 1.64. Okay, That's 1.05. So that is another way you have to find it. Okay. Now, again, you don't want to put 105%. You need to bring back your 1 plus P expression. Okay, so minus 1, minus 1. So 1 P is 0 0.05. You don't need to divide if it's positive 1, so it's just 5%. Okay, you're going to do that one. That's the one I want you to do. I'm going to do the last example here. Okay, your new computer costs $2,600. The value decreases by a constant rate each year. After five years, the computer is worth $1,154. Calculate the depreciation rate. So that's your job to find that. Okay, so you've got years and money. X is our independent variable, the time, and Y is dependent on X. So dollars per year. Again, there's no steady. It's a percent per year. You don't know the percent, so you put P. And it is decreasing, so down. Okay, so X comma Y times... G to the power of X equals Y. So we know our growth, our beginning amount's 2,600. Okay, then I'm going to take 100%. And again, oh shoot, nothing to minus. So we need to change that to 1 minus P to the power of X equal then Y. Okay, so I've got 2,600 times the growth factor, which is 1 minus P to the X power equals Y. 
Now again, you're solving for P, so you, what you need to do is get your X out and put five years in for that because five years has a money amount that goes with it, and that's 1,154. Okay, now it's time to solve again. Your P is not a power, okay, but it is in a parentheses with a power, okay? So I'm going to do Q. So it has a multiplier of 2,600. It has a power of 5 equals 1,154. And actually, I'm going to bring this 1 minus P down here so I remember to do that. But I don't need the table because I'm not going to worry about a plus negative. That's only on kind of non-story problems. You need to divide by your multiplier before you worry about that. So 1154 divided by 2600 is 0 0.44. And then we need to calculate our fifth root of each side of the equation. Okay, fifth root. Remember what I just taught you. If you, by the way, if you don't have one of these, you're gonna have to take it to the. You're gonna have to go 0 0.44 power one fifth. But another trick you have is five, because it's a fifth root. And then second, and then not this key. That's square root. It's this key. Okay, and then 0 0.44. Okay, and I got 0 0.85. And now I can put 0 0.85 down there. Remember to put your 1, so minus 1, minus 1, so negative 1p, negative 0 0.15. And p is going to be positive 0 0.15, which is 15%. Okay. All right.